Hello, welcome to another edition of my bioponic garden. This one's indoors. Um, I've changed up the light from sodium vapor to, as you can see, to a metal halide. <clears throat> These are um, some walking onions, or Egyptian onions as they're known. Got the basil I took from outside. Lots of uh, this. these are lettuces and various. Uh, this is cress growing from seed. Everything's growing from seed. Some uh, carrots coming up, and uh, I got a nice. Uh, this is a chili pepper. Very hot. Really spicy. I love it. Let's see what else I'm growing. <coughs> Excuse me. Quite a few other things, but um, uh, things are growing well. I got some tomatoes, plum tomatoes going on here. I already harvested three today. We got some bell pepper plant here, some garlic chives, basil, all kinds of fun stuff. So I'm going to see what else I can grow in here. I think I have some uh, Chinese broccoli growing as well. And I'm going to try to grow more greens inside. And it looks good so far. I changed up the, um, the uh, tote here. It used to be a garbage can. Now I got a, I think it's a 24 gallon tote. And this is a 4x4 four four bed which uh, holds a lot of uh, vegetables, if I could say so. I'm going to actually fill up a few more baskets with uh, coconut. I ordered a, uh, let me show you what I ordered here, so you can decide whether you want to get it on Amazon or not. So, it's a, uh, it was a big block. Um, here's what's left of it. And uh, actually I have some more in here. It filled up this five foot gallon, uh, sorry, five gallon, um, container about three times so far and uh, really nice uh, it's just made of coconut um, the uh, the husk and which means it biodegrades slowly it's also supposed to be antibacterial but <clears throat> believe it or not I ran some tests with the let me move this out of the way the uh, ammonia and nitrates on the ammonia scale well, I can actually show you right now so we've got roughly I would say somewhere between one and two um, parts per million, <coughs> excuse me, of ammonia in here. And the last time I added um, urine was a couple days ago. And as far as the nitrates, when I left this morning, it looked like it was orange, which would have been 10. But when I came back, it was pretty dark. Um, I would say it was at least 20, if not more, maybe even up to 30 or so. I haven't checked the pH yet. I don't think I need to. <coughs> the plants look healthy and happy. The uh, we got an eggplant here that's flowering. So far I haven't got any fruits off this eggplant, but we'll see. The chili is going crazy. I've got, I counted at least a dozen. So, so far so good. Uh, I'm hoping that if I grow just greens that I should be okay. Uh, I'll keep you up to date. And uh, anybody could do this. You know, it's easy. We, I set them up on uh, crates. This thing is not very heavy at all. It takes a very little uh, space, you know, just a four by four area. Very small amount of area. And uh, one 400 watt um, metal halide. Well, I got a metal halide that also changes out to sodium vapor, which is nice in case I want to do fruiting. But I'm mostly in it for the greens, you know, lettuce, onions, herbs, and various things like that. So I might have the chili and the, and the peppers going. Tomatoes just take up a lot of space, so I don't know if I'm going to continue with that. Um, so, and I add urine <coughs> roughly once every. Uh, three, four days. Um, I could just basically take a test, and when I see the the nitrates go down t from uh, you know high to about maybe five or ten, and I see the um, uh, ammonia go down to you know half uh, or zero, then it's time to add more urine. So uh, it's it's no real. Um, uh, I haven't done exact testing yet as far as how much I should add, but it seems something to the uh, to the effect of about um, a cup a day would probably be more than sufficient um, <clears throat> even if I filled up this bed entirely so I'm hoping uh, in the next few days I'm going to put some more things in here maybe some radishes maybe more lettuce uh, maybe other greens I have other greens on order so as soon as they come in oh and I do have Napa cabbage as well growing um, and here's actually a couple cucumbers the Napa cabbage has not come up yet so that might take some time alright thanks for watching and I'll keep you informed